Hello, this is Ludwig from Lamp Apps, and today I'll show you uh, a new template here on GS Helper. Uh, it's a template named Crappy Bird, and of course, it's uh, a clone of a well known game at the moment. It's selling really high on the iTunes App Store and also on Android. So let's hit preview. There's a score here, there's a high score, our little birdie. A play button and a nice background and a foreground that moves just like the original game and as you can see the bird dives down let's try and score some points I'm not really good at this but hey I'm doing pretty well but there you go okay so that's uh, it for the game it's very well set up and very stable and running really good um, let's first explain some of the attributes I made here as you can see there's not much in there so it's easy to customize of course the graphics are all in there by the way and uh, you can change them uh, if you would like and also all the <coughs> sounds are in there um, okay back to the attributes the game attributes um, I have here the drop speed, that's the speed the bird drops down. The up speed is the speed the bird goes up after you hit, uh, after you touch the screen or hit the mouse button. Um, the up time is the time it is going up, so at this speed it's going up for uh, uh, 12 hundredths, I don't know if that's English, but 0.12 seconds. Uh, the gap size is the size between uh, the obstacles and the speed is the speed of the game. And then there is also a random spawn. Uh, it's called random spawn but in fact it's not really random right now. Um, that's um, the gap between the obstacles. So it, now it spawns at uh, every uh, two seconds and uh, you can make it smaller or bigger or you can turn this one on and make it random so in this case it would be random from two to five seconds but I left it off because it's off and it's it's not random in the original game uh, all the obstacles are at the same distances from each other so let's just leave it that way for now um, okay I can of course show you uh, Let's start with the gap size, what it does. Let's make it 200 and we'll make the game a lot easier. You could also decide to make it smaller over time, for example, by making a rule that does so, so the game gets more difficult. Oops, over time. So that's the gap. Let's set it back to 150. The uptime, I can put it on one second, for example, and when I touch, as you can see, it'll go up for one second now. So, it's, of course, that's way too much, but just to show you what it does, let's put it back again. The up speed is the speed the bird goes up after you touched. As you can see, it's going up really fast now. <coughs> and it's dead again, poor bird. Let's put it back on 600. And the draft speed is the speed the bird goes down. So for example, if I put it on 150, the bird drops down really <laughs> slow. Okay, but let's put that back to 750. Okay, um, that is that. And oh, we have the game speed as well. Let's put it on 250. But the only thing that, the funny thing is that it make it, ugh, it will make it even easier because it looks like like it's going fast. But oops, it's not really. Oops, I'm sorry. What's happening? Well, it is going fast when the obstacles do come faster at you. But oops, I really suck at this. Let's do that again. Let's put it a little bit slower. As you can see, that's making the game faster. So I put it down to 150 again. But what I was trying to say is that the obstacles also uh, are further away from each other. So while they do come at you at a higher speed, you have more time in between the obstacles. What I just changed was the spawn rate of the obstacles. And as you can see, 
they are very close to each other now so this will probably be undoable but just so you get the idea okay so that's in the bird there's a random spawn it's what it's called and it's normally on two um, one more thing uh, is the uh, start delay, delay delay that's here it's uh, self start delay plus four that's um, the time it takes before the game starts uh, before the obstacles come so if I put it in two for example the obstacles will now come a little bit faster so that's after about two seconds as you can see it's they are here a little bit faster now okay so let's put it back on four again so we have the game as it was again and thank you for watching and if there are any questions ask okay bye bye